Well, we're here at Government House uh, to meet up with Peter Kenyuk, a superstar of the Isle of Man, of course, and it really just jet-setting in before going off to get ready for some little event called the Tour de France, amongst other things. Anyway, it's now Peter Kenyuk, MBE. Yes, Congratulations. Thanks very much. Now, you decided to, to receive it here rather than in London. Yeah. Um, I've sort of, if I do so much travelling as it is, I think I must have been on maybe 30 or 40 flights already this year. And also, I mean, it means I can have... 50 of my friends and family to come and join me. It's it, at the end of the day, it's where I live, it's where I was born, and I think it's sort of, you know, people like to go and see the palace or whatever. But I think it's quite special to do it here on the Isle of Man. How how busy is your life at the moment? I mean, you, you just come. Well, you you came to the top four the other day in an event. Yeah, that was yesterday. It was the British National Road Race Championships. Um, yeah, it's pretty hectic. You sort of flying and staying in hotels and living out the suitcase sort of becomes part of your job and part of your lifestyle um landed this afternoon at one o'clock had a quick two hours sleep and then sit on and straight up here so um it's something you sort of quickly become used to though mm -hmm. and obviously great hopes for the tour de france isn't it for you yeah definitely i think with um chris Froome, our team leader he was second there last year and he's won all the sort of everything you can win on the road this year leading up to the Tour de France and he's shown he's got the best form out of all the all the contenders so I mean I'll be going there to support him and hopefully we can win and yeah it'll be be a great achievement and something special to be part of. So the next time you can really wave the Manx flag will be at the Commonwealth Games? Yeah, yeah um, the road race I did yesterday was actually on the Commonwealth Games course so it was a perfect opportunity to go and see the course and sort of learn it for for the Commonwealth Games and yeah I can't wait to go there and I think we'll have a really strong team to try and support Cav for the win. And how are you feeling yourself? Very optimistic? For the Commonwealth Games? Just in, yeah, yeah, you're racing. I mean, it's going well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's going really well. I mean, obviously had the Olympic Games last year, which was a massive hype. But in terms of like um, where I am in my career, it was it's a very different sort of sport to what I'm doing now on the road. It's obviously only four kilometres. And track cycling is very different to road racing. You know, you can, Tour de France is... 200 plus kilometers mm -hmm. every day for 21 days so um, I feel this year I've sort of almost had to up my game even more and become more serious and more more dedicated to the sport and um, I suppose that's paid off with being selected for the for the Tour de France and even just to be selected to be part of those nine guys out of 27 guys on one of the strongest teams in the world it's um, that's quite an achievement in itself. Finally when you came back to the, the Isle of Man today how's the letterbox? Is it still gold? Uh, I haven't actually oh. seen it, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, probably it might be fading a bit by now. Who knows? It's pretty amazing, though, in the whole thing, isn't it? Still it hit home how much it meant to everyone here when you won. I mean, for yourself <laughs> as well, obviously. Yeah, I mean, I think it meant a lot to my family and my friends, and obviously the whole of the island. But for me, the Olympic Games is—it's a strange event. It's—it's not—it's not what cycling's about. You've got all these other sports, and it's a massive global thing. For me, growing up. Um, you know, I, I watch the Tour de France every year and road cycling is really where my passion is and where my heart is. So for me, although the Olympic Games are obviously massive to everyone else and it was a, it obviously was a, a big achievement, um, sort of, yeah, on the road and with Team Sky and the Tour de France and so forth is where my heart lies. So it's, uh, I almost feel like I'm probably more excited about going, yeah, I'm more excited about going to the Tour de France and going to the Olympic Games. So. Well, no, just running the pictures of you at the airport, that was pretty surreal, wasn't it? With all the people there to meet you. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty crazy, especially after only having maybe one hour's sleep after celebrating. So, um, yeah, that's something I'll never forget. And everyone singing the national anthem. And, yeah, it's sort of a bit of a blur now, but it was, uh, it was amazing at the time.